What's going on people? So, I'm back with another one of those shirt videos, right? I have a figure video to do as well, but I'm waiting on one last thing that keeps getting delayed, so that one will probably happen maybe this week. Hopefully this week, because the thing was supposed to be delivered like yesterday. But whatever. I'll worry about other things at other times, because right now I'm going to worry about what I'm actually doing, which is opening up these bags in this box here. So, before I do, and well, as I do, please go ahead and tell me, how are you guys doing out there? You got anything going on? It's, it's Sunday, you know? Normally this is my day to just kind of sit around and ponder like how I have to go back to work tomorrow and how much I don't really want to. Don't get me wrong, I've got a pretty solid job and I do like it a lot, but it's just like I would rather just stay home, honestly, because who wouldn't? So anyways, Going ahead, opening this up. This comes from King's Road Merch, right? I say that because sometimes people like to know where I buy this stuff. Mr. Jones asked a question a while ago. And I'm like, oh, he's like, oh, where'd you get those? I'm like, I, I said in the video. But since I happen to know the guy, I gave him the preferential treatment and I just answered his question. But again, just watch the stuff, people. First off, got a mask thing here, right? Thought these were on the tail end of their popularity of their little run, right? reign of terror if you want to call it that in some cases but they are not so picked this up because i was buying some descendants things and i saw this figured hey why not so everything sucks right if you're familiar with that album or that band at all there you go if you're not i get it right it's kind of an older thing if you kind of missed that era you may have just missed that era but they are on tour with rise against right now i believe so depending on where you live it might be your time to catch up and go see what they're all about I saw them once at Riot Fest in Denver. Denver, yeah. So, and then of course I bought a shirt, right? Because that's why we're here, to talk about the shirts that I bought. Now, this isn't one of those pro wrestling tee style shirts or whatever. It's not super thin and soft style like I like, but it's still solid. And I do really like the way they did this design, right? The Milo picture and all that stuff or whatever. So that's very cool. It's got kind of like a airbrushed paintbrush, whatever, yeah, airbrush, I don't know. Whatever word I'm looking for, it's that. So, standard stuff. Now, moving right along, this here comes from Pro Wrestling Tees. Pro Wrestling Tees, they make a lot of shirts, and I buy a lot of shirts from them. So, here we are, they had a sale recently, and I like to take advantage of those sales. So, if I can get into this bag, all right. And sometimes they put those little mess, those little chair magnets in there. So I like to see for sure if they do or not before I go throwing these bags out. All right, I'll give you guys the first view of this. Jesus Christ, this thing's all folded up. So there's that for you, right? Kind of designed after like the whole Descendants vibe, right? If you're, if you know who the Descendants are, maybe you're, this is somewhat familiar to you. So looking at this, okay, cool. It came up pretty all right. So I am cool with that. Black and yellow because, you know, I do like the black and yellow combination. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to get some, like, different colors going on, but I'll worry about that at another time. And then also from Pro Wrestling Tees, obviously because it's also in the Pro Wrestling Tees bag, this right here, this Jake the Snake shirt that I've been wanting for a little while, I finally made the order because, again, they had a sale, you know, so why not take advantage of the sale? And now... Normally I'd throw those things over there, but there's so much crap over there, and this is like right here. So, Logan, if you're watching, I'll be back to throwing stuff around next time, I'm sure of it. Okay, more Pro Wrestling Tees things, right? This one here is, oh, okay, this is the Hangman Page Chase Owens shirt, right? What does that say, good old Virginia boys? Yeah. So, I picked this up because I keep seeing it, like, in my little saved things. I'm like, one of these days I need to actually buy that. Because well, sometimes they do take designs away. So, they had that sale, like I was saying, and I bought it. And then I also bought this here, which is, what is this? Oh, yeah. It's a Perfection. Perfect 10, however you want to call it. This is a Sean Spears shirt, as it probably says on there. Actually, it doesn't say, but... Trust me, it's a Sean Spears shirt. If you watch AEW things, you already know that. Now, 
this last box here. Open this thing up. I don't know what happened to this label. You see that? Yeah, they just kind of just destroyed that thing for whatever reason. I mean, it didn't even do anything to them. And then they printed another label. That one's on the bottom. That one's got like my address and all that stuff on it, which I don't generally give out. I mean, I do like give it out all the time, honestly, but usually only if like people ask for it. I don't just like broadcast it over the internet because that would be awkward and lead to weird situations more than likely. So, moving right along into this here shirt. These come from the WWE Shop Zone. I don't even know if they still call it the Shop Zone. This is, okay, so this is the Brizongo shirt, right? You may remember them from that time they used to work there up until like a couple weeks ago. Also has a back design, so that's cool. The one thing I don't like about their shirts is that most of them are just like this standard, I don't know, basic material. So compared to like a lot of the soft style shirts that I buy from Pro Wrestling Tees, they just don't feel very good. This one, this one seems to be, right? But it's very much hit and miss. You don't know what you're going to get until you get it. So this is a Cameron Grimes shirt. I remember seeing him when I was starting, getting, starting to get back into NXE. There's the back of that. And I remember thinking like, what's going on here, right? Because like the first thing I saw was just him running around backstage. But then I started paying attention. Like, okay, the guy's actually all right. Once he, because he pulls your attention in by being a little awkward. And then he holds it by being a little awesome. So that's pretty cool. And now this right here. This is a, what's this, Wyatt Jim? Yeah, the Wyatt Jim shirt. So it's fun. Like, I bought these shirts before these people were released, you know? It just kind of happened to be that they were on clearance. So maybe that's how you know somebody's going to be fired or not, if they got all their shirts on clearance. And then the one that drove this whole purchase, right? The one that I've been watching like a hawk for a while. This here, the Mankind Boiler Room shirt, right? I saw this and they just kept not putting it on sale. And then when they finally did, I grabbed this and then some other crap to go with it. That's it. We did it. So we're good. If you got questions about the shirts or whatever, as far as how they fit or whatever, Pro Wrestling Tees, they do have the sizing chart as far as like inches or centimeters or whatever makes sense for you on their website. So just go by that because I don't know. I mean, True to size, I guess. Does that work in the shirt realm? Either way, we're good here. So from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I've got two more videos to do. Well, I, cause like I have to do one to get to the next one. If you follow the things that I do, you'll it'll make sense later. Later, people.